everybody, I'm Krista and this is the preteen service for the last weekend in March. How is it going? Have you had a good week? Are you enjoying the sunshine? You know, as I'm recording this video right now, my daughter's outside skateboarding and I bet many of you are outside biking, skateboarding, tossing a ball around and enjoying the spring weather. I know we certainly are. This has been a really tricky year, hasn't it? It's been a year since we all kind of entered into this reality of the pandemic and there's been really some tough stuff to kind of get through, hasn't there? You know, some people have found it actually not that bad. Um, they haven't minded at all being at home with their family and playing games and watching movies and creating TikTok videos and all kinds of stuff. For others, it's been a lot harder. If you've been used to getting together with your extended family or friends, your neighbors, we haven't been able to do that. We haven't been able to gather at church. Maybe you have found that difficult. Today in our story, we're going to continue learning about patience. And today, the focus is for us to realize that even when we're waiting for something to change or something to happen, or we're waiting for some kind of news, that we can find things to celebrate even still. So I hope that you will learn something from the message today from Kellen. No doubt you are gonna crack some laughs during the So and So Show. But before we get to the So and So Show, we are gonna worship, so I encourage you to get up off your seats, your bed, the floor, wherever you are, and join in the worship. And I'll see you after the So and So Show. See you in a bit. to wait for all the things that I want. Sometimes I kind of feel like it's just taking too long to get the things I want, what I think I need, but I know you know what's best for me. I'm gonna live what I believe. I'm gonna wait cause I know you're still working. I'm gonna have patience cause it'll be worth it. I'm gonna have faith, I know you have a
turn the crank for a tasty treat. Where's my tasty treat? Here you go. <sighs> Is this unbaked bread? Bake on 350 for 40 minutes. This is my tasty treat? Patience, Brandon. Patience. And I'm John. And welcome to the So and So Show. John, what is going on? Oh, Easter is next week. Pretty big day. I'll say. And I cannot wait to celebrate it. Oh, really? Yeah, just look at this chocolate bunny. He's just begging me to eat him. <laughs> I'm so chocolatey and delicious. Have just a nibble, please. Hey, I guess we could celebrate a week early. Okay. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Happy Easter! Mm -hmm. No, I'm good. I know. Mm. Mm, great! Who knew you didn't have to wait to celebrate Easter? Yeah. I, I mean, who says we can't celebrate other holidays early, too? Let's do it now! Yeah! Happy, Happy Arbor, Arbor Day. Day! Hey, Mom. Happy Mother's Day. Oh, you're welcome. Hey, can you put Dad on the phone? Hey, Dad, happy Father's Day. <laughs> you're welcome. Happy Canada Day, eh? Hey, bro. Happy Brother's Day. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Happy Independence Day. Hey, Jeff. Happy Second Cousin Removed Day. Yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. Happy Bastille Day. <laughs> oh, fromage! Hey, Sparky! Who's a good dog? Happy Dog's Day! <laughs> You're welcome. Can I get another hot dog? Sure, buddy. Happy, Happy Labor, Labor Day! Day. Trigger! Merry Christmas. Oh, you shouldn't have! <laughs> Are you sure this is how you celebrate Boxing Day? Hmm? Oh. <laughs> Three, two, one, happy 2022! <laughs> oh man, six more weeks of winter. That was fun. Yeah. Oh, one more thing to celebrate. What's that? It's Bible story time with Kellen. Yes. Hey, guy. Whoa. You guys all right? Yeah, yeah. We just uh, celebrated a year's worth of holidays in three minutes. <laughs> that sounds exhausting. Yeah. I guess it kind of was. So I guess you've already done Palm Sunday then. Wait, that's today. How can we forget? Uh, um, well, how about this? How about you celebrate 
by helping me tell the Bible story. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, here's a little puppet head theater. Jesus and his disciples were on their way to Jerusalem to celebrate Passover. Jesus told two of his disciples, go to the village ahead of you. As soon as you get there, you'll find a donkey tied there along with her colt. Uh -huh. Untie them and bring them to me. <gasps> if anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them. Oh. <laughs> yeah. hmm. oh. You see, hundreds of years earlier, one of God's prophets, Zechariah, said the Messiah would come to Jerusalem riding on a donkey. That prophecy was about to come true. When the disciples went to Jerusalem, they found the donkey just like Jesus said. Oh, here it is. Uh, perfect. Come on, little guy. I'll just get you here. All right. Hey! Uh, what are you doing with my donkey? Oh, I, I'm sorry. I was just, uh, oh, what was I supposed to say? Uh, right. The Lord needs him. The Lord? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? <laughs> I just did. <laughs> well, please, by all means, take him away. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Come on, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, and thank you. No problem. Uh, okay. Whoa. Slow, slow down. Whoa. Here we go. So they took the donkey back to Jesus and placed their cloaks on the donkey for Jesus to sit on. Here you go. And here's one. <sighs> Nathaniel, you got your cloak? And one more. Jesus got on the donkey and headed to Jerusalem. When word spread that Jesus was coming, a crowd gathered and spread their cloaks all on the ground, while others cut palm tree branches and spread them on the road. My cloak for ye, sir. Hosanna! It's the Messiah. He's coming. Hosanna! He's getting closer. Here he comes. Jesus rode into Jerusalem, and he was greeted with cheers and shouts of hope and wonder. They wondered, could this be the Messiah that they had been promised all those years ago? Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. The entire city was amazed at what was happening. Now, they weren't 100% sure that Jesus was the one that they'd been waiting for, but they still celebrated. It's Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth. The end. That's one of my favorite stories in the Bible. Everyone was waiting for a savior. They think they have one, so they celebrate. Even though he's on the back of a donkey, they treat him as a king. Yeah, pretty incredible. But over the course of the week leading up to what we call Easter, there would be a lot of pain. Jesus, the man they thought was their king, would be arrested and sentenced to death. It was a roller coaster of emotion. So what happened after that? Well, I think a lot of us know what happened after that. And while we can still celebrate the hope the Easter story gives us today and every day, you'll have to wait to hear the rest of the story next week. Fair enough. Hey, thanks, Kellen. No, nope. thank you guys. Later. See ya. Great story. I know, the people had been waiting so long for a savior, they must have been thrilled. I know, yeah, and they, and they still didn't know exactly who Jesus True. was. They didn't know the crazy, turn your world upside down miracle that was about to happen. So they still had to wait and wonder. Just like us sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, check this out. Reveal the question. <laughs> what are you waiting for right now? John? Lunch. <laughs> yeah, after the show, buddy. Oh, right. But what else? Are you waiting for news about a test, uh, about whether or not your parents are gonna have to move for work? Maybe you're waiting for God to answer a prayer. Oh, wow, yeah. What, those are really thoughtful. Thanks, thanks. Waiting for lunch is good. Too. Yeah, lunch is good.
Just know that whatever you're waiting for, you don't have to wait to celebrate all the good stuff. That's right, right. You can celebrate all the holidays in one day. Let's do it. No, wait, we've already done the whole year. We haven't done next year. It's true. Talk about it with each other. What are you waiting for right now? And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. To the future. Yeah. When did this tradition start? Oh. Uh, this starts in 2036. Oh, that's right. Apparently they hadn't invented tweezers. So close. <laughs> I threw two and they both missed. Yes. <laughs> this is fun. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs>
check out Easter Jam. It's coming up this Thursday evening. Have a great week.